Hello, beloveds. As we gather here today in this virtual space made holy by the presence of each and every one of us, my heart goes out to those who are also gathering in the streets across the United States, in Minneapolis, in New York, Chicago, and Louisville, Los Angeles, and Phoenix, Indianapolis, and Nashville, Des Moines, and Jacksonville, and yes, even in some cities outside of the United States, and perhaps even a city near you. In the Christian tradition, today is Pentecost. This is the day that Christians celebrate when the Holy Spirit first descended upon the followers of Jesus, appearing as tongues of fire above their heads, causing them to speak in different languages. As we consider that in some cities there are fires burning even as we speak across the U.S. and countries around the world, and in the sacred altars we have created here in our homes and in our hearts. I offer at this time words of wisdom from Enfleshed, a progressive online Christian ministry that has helped me find meaning when I am struggling. I invite you to join me at this time in a spirit of openness and reflection Pentecost is coming. It will be an end and a beginning. It will bewilder and confuse. Though some will fight it, the aching world calls it forth with urgency. Come, Spirit, come. The Spirit who moves like a rush of violent wind, who appears like fire, who is the very breath of God. She comes to us unconcerned with order, wild with freedom, turning over anything and everything that stands in her way. Let her come and fill our mouths with words we didn't know we could speak. Let her come and help us hear in languages we once could not understand. She is being poured out the people will prophesy, the heavens will draw near, and the chorus of voices past will join in and proclaim the truth of God. Justice will come. Do not be like the ones who sneer and ask, are they drunk? Do not be surprised by what's happening as if the scriptures and history and the prophets have not foretold. You've heard it said, the sun will burn out and the moon will turn to blood before the day of justice arrives. Instead, open your hearts and pray that God's grace may carry you into the kingdom. Let courage rise up. Let passion inflame. Let love transform. Let weeping fill the land. There will be no peace until there is justice. No healing until wrongs are made right. Come, spirit, come, and turn the world of evil upside down. Amen and blessed be, so be it. Let us take this moment to send love to all of the freedom fighters, to the street medics, to the chaplains, and to the healers. Let us send love and healing energy to the organizers, to the people who are preparing meals, to the people who are taking care of the children, to the loved ones of all those who are rising up to demand justice. Let us honor their strength and courage. They are putting their bodies on the line to bring a lasting change, to uncover that which was hidden, and to turn this world around. 